Hey everybody, Rockaholic here, and there's Saki and Cooper in the background. And what I'm gonna be attempting today is to polish a piece of amber. I have never done this before. I have only hand polished Petoskey stones. So this should be interesting. I have already shined a UV light on this amber and it does glow like a greenish and a little bit of purple. So now that's not the only way to tell if it's real amber or not, but I completely trust the place that I bought it from. So what I'm gonna do is you can see, you can see that nice amber looking glow there. What I'm gonna do is try to kind of polish off all this dark stuff all around so we can get down to the glowing amber inside. I'm gonna be using 320 grit. I'll show you. I'm gonna be using 320 grit uh, waterproof sandpaper. I ordered this on Amazon. And I'm just gonna be, there's an ambulance driving by. Okay, so I'm, I'm basically just going to be getting this uh, a little bit wet and I'm going to be rubbing it on the sandpaper here so I will pause frequently and let you know how it's going. I just want to correct a statement I made. I said I was going to get this wet but um, that would usually be the case but not with amber. I, I'm not going to get my amber wet and you see I've just been uh, rubbing the side here and I'm going to keep going. All right, as you can see, I have been working on this one side. My goal is to kind of get down to where it's mostly flat. So I'm trying to get down to all those little grooves smoothed out. So I'm gonna keep going. Still going. All right, my sandpaper seems to be getting pretty worn down, but I'm pretty close. That one spot right there is pretty deep, but the rest of it, the rest of it's getting pretty smooth, but I think it's still gonna take me a while to get past that crack there. So I may have to get a fresh piece of 320 grit sandpaper. I don't know, we'll see. All right, I went ahead and got a fresh piece of sandpaper because I knew it would speed up the process and we're getting close to having that last deep crack buffed out and Evie, Evie agrees. All right, I am still having issues. That feels smooth there mostly. So I'm wondering if that might run deeper into the rock and I don't want to keep going because everything else on this side feels really smooth. So wipe it off a little bit. And the color, wow, look at that. The color is really starting to show. I'm going to do one more step here uh, to just really polish up this side and make it shine so you can see if I decide to do the rest of the rock, which could be fairly time consuming. So I don't know if I'll do all of it or just kind of perfect this side of it, but I will show you how I do the second step on this side. Okay, for my final step, I'm gonna use the step four, the polyplastics step four final polish. And this really is still grit. It's just an extremely, extremely, extremely fine. See 1200 fine aluminum oxide. So what I'm going to do is I have a piece of old blue jeans and the reason it looks white like that is because I've polished other things on here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this, the well, half a spoon here. That was probably even too much in the middle of my scrap of blue jeans and then I am going to add water to this because I want this powder to become kind of a paste so I just got to 
glass of water here. I'm just gonna drip a little on there and I'm gonna use my piece of amber here to just kind of, I just wanna mix, kind of make a paste out of the water and that aluminum oxide grit. I probably added too much water, but that doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna move it around because like I said, this is just a very fine grit. So I'm gonna do this for a while and then I will hopefully have a really good looking, at least one side of the rock to show you when I'm done. All right, I have been rubbing this around for about five minutes. So I'm going to just kind of rinse it off in my cup of water. And then I'm going to grab a towel and dry it off for you. Oh my goodness. You can't see I'm dipping it in this cup of water here. And let me just grab a towel and I will show you what this looks like all dry. All right, here is my final product. I'll try to get it maybe in some of the sunshine here. So you can see that one end is really glowing in the sunshine and there's some really deep, rich colors in there, but look at the shine. It's really shiny. I, that piece in the middle is gonna bug me. So my guess is I may go back and still try to polish that out some more. And I definitely think I may just do a little more of up here. I don't know yet. Depends on how much work I want to put into this. But I definitely will probably polish up here too and go back and fix that crack. But well, that didn't take all that long. Maybe a half hour. And that piece of amber is looking beautiful. All right, well, I'm going to uh, say goodbye for now, so thanks for watching.